Hi folks, it's Andrew Goodall here from Nature's Image Photography with another video on the Panasonic Lumix G9. This time I'm looking at autofocus and in particular the difference between pinpoint autofocus and single area autofocus and which one I use in my own photography. This is something I spent a bit of time working out when I first got the camera so if you're just getting started this might help you as well. Before I begin, if this is your first visit to the channel I invite you to hit that subscribe button. I have more videos coming soon on the G9 and subscribing is the best way to keep in touch with new content as it comes online. So here's the background. As the host of Photography Tours I do a lot of wildlife. I bought the G9 with the 100-400mm lens in preparation for a second African tour in 2020. So with this being essentially my wildlife camera the priority is to make sure the animal in the shot is sharp even if everything else is out of focus. Let's start with pinpoint autofocus. When I first got the G9 I thought the pinpoint autofocus sounded like the ideal option. With pinpoint focus I could focus on the eye of the subject or pick a bird out through the branches of a tree. So that's the theory, this is the experience. To enable pinpoint autofocus you simply press the function 1 button until you reach the pinpoint setting. Then when you half press the button to focus a small area of the image pops up in an enlarged view to help you confirm that the area you selected is the one you want and that it is indeed sharp. To be honest I found this completely distracting. Right now I'm showing you a flower with a camera on a tripod. If I do this handheld with a bird, the pop-up means I can't really see my bird anymore and by the time it pops back the bird's moved and more often than not I've missed the moment I was trying to shoot. Now it is possible to go into the menu to make some changes. Under the pinpoint AF heading you have the option to reduce the length of time the pop-up appears on your screen. You can also reduce the size of the pop-up so it doesn't take over your whole screen. This was definitely an improvement but I still found the pop-up to be a major distraction. The one option you won't find is to turn the pop-up off and this is why I fairly quickly decided pinpoint autofocus was not for me. Don't get me wrong, I think the pinpoint autofocus would be great for certain types of photography. I would definitely consider it for macro and portraits for example but with very stationary subjects preferably shot on a tripod. But for handheld shots of active subjects, let's take a look at the option I prefer, single area focus. Once again you select single area by clicking the function 1 button. The single area I use is very small, not as small as the pinpoint option but small enough for almost any purpose. You can increase the size of your focus area and also move it around wherever you like on the frame. I'm a bit embarrassed to admit this is one I couldn't figure out for myself, I had to get a friend to show me. But you can make your changes to the focus area using the touch screen or using the dials on the camera as I'm showing you here. I think my reason for keeping the focus area small is pretty obvious, it's as close to pinpoint as I can get. And even though I can move the focus point around I prefer to keep it in the middle because I have what I think is a better way of controlling where I focus. For the majority of my photography my focus mode is AFS or autofocus single. That means once I focus, the focus won't change, even if I move the camera, as long as I keep my finger on the button. Combining AFS with a small focus area, I can simply aim my focus point at the subject I want to focus on, then compose my photo and shoot. As long as I keep my finger on the button, the focus will stay on the subject no matter which way I point the camera. So, there's my verdict. For the majority of my photography, I'll be using single area focus combined with AFS focus mode. I use this combination for pretty much everything except for birds in flight and I find it gives me the greatest control over my focus with the least amount of fiddling about. I'll leave you now with a few more photos taken using this method. Thanks for watching the video and if you're still getting to know your G9 I hope you found this useful. I'm Andrew Goodall of Nature's Image Photography, thanks for watching.